For those of you who have been following my channel, I did a couple videos a while back. One, how to trim your beard, and two, how to cut your own hair. Um, my hair has been getting a little long. I decided to let it get a little bit longer uh, for a time, and I cut it. Um, but it's really grown to the point where it looks like a comb over. Just say no to comb overs. Anyway, I um, have my old brush here. I'm going to go ahead and get this all facing the same direction. And let's just see what it looks like at different lengths so you can kind of get an idea of the difference. The old wall blades are all oiled up. And we're going to start with the number six. That's going to be uh, three quarters of an inch. And all these are going to go down by uh, an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to go straight down the middle. All right, there is a number six. Let's bring it down to number four. We have a half inch. All right, that's what a half inch looks like. You see the difference? And I'm gonna take it one step down. I gave a guy a haircut one time and, you know, I cut my hair uh, number five and he's like, well, why don't you use a number three because then you don't have to comb your hair. So I'm gonna go pretty short shorter than I normally do because when it gets long like this I just uh, I can't take it. So here we are, number three. See a huge difference? Yeah. Huge difference there. And for effect, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, do the middle here on my beard. You want to just brush it out. Here, looks about right on each side. This is where the line is. I'm just going to go straight back, connecting the line. All right, see the difference there? Now, let's go for a thumbnail image, or how about this one? I guess I could go ahead and uh, title my video, I tried to cut my own hair and it went horribly wrong. Um, yeah, I'm not really into clickbait, but I think it'd be a fun thumbnail image. So anyway, I'm going to remember to put the number three back on. Let's just go ahead and get the rest of this going. Take your time. Yeah, just double check. Take your time. Okay. Unless you have some professional clippers. These ones just don't eat right through your hair. But these things have been with me for a long time. I think since 2002. It's just like coming your hair, kind of. You're gonna go against the grain.
get clogged up a little bit, you know, you oil them. You don't have to really do much more. I've had zero maintenance beside that. You're just shearing your sheep, which is you in this case. See the back? Get a mirror. Guys, like I said, you're going bald. I mean, come on. You don't need the comb over thing. You got no hair, okay? It doesn't look like you have hair. I wasn't going for a comb over, it just sort of I realized it looked like that one day. I'm like, man, it's gotta go. It's been busy taking care of stuff. So I will be revealing a true baldness. Hey, it's okay, it happens to a lot of us. You young guys, you think it's not going to happen to you, right? Yeah, it's not going to happen to you until it does. So, you never know. Alright, so make a lot of passes, okay? Make sure you have all those hairs cut. Straight back up here. Alright, I'm calling it good enough on the top. Now, we're going to be kind of tapering things up with the beard. I just did this for effect for a thumbnail. Um, we're going to kind of determine the length of the sideburn area here by the length that we're going to make the sides of our head, right? So I'm going with the number two on the sides. Um, it kind of helps to step down. Like you have a three up here, do a two here. You have a four up here. Um, I guess you could step down like this. I'm going from three to a two. I could go from a three to a two to a one. I'm choosing a two here. Um, works out like say you have a five, <coughs> a three, and a two, you know, that type of thing. So you're kind of blending it together. It's just the easy way I look at it. Gonna get this hair out of here. All right, number two. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to start about here and I'm going to come up. I'm going to get all of this side stuff out of the way. We'll do the final cleanup at the end. A lot of people who watch YouTube videos don't have much patience, and myself included. Um, but if you watch the end, you're going to see the whole thing. You could skip through it. You know, I, I might put a mile marker in between, but maybe someone will do that for me. So here we go. You're going to be able to fade it up like that. Transition between the beard to the side and then up. And you're going to want to kind of do this number. Lifting away, lifting away, especially if this hair is much longer. Um, I'm keeping it short because that's just what I have. but. If you have more hair up here, make sure you're lifting it away, okay? Because you can always, you can always kind of fade that in with uh, different combs. All right, same thing on this side.
All right, go ahead and get the glasses back on. Around the back. Check my size here. Good enough. Let's see, pause real quick here. It's kind of where the, I guess the crown of your head is, right? And for me, that's where I take my size to. Just kind of look at people, right? And see what their hair looks like and where they bring it to. And that seems to be about where it goes. So I'm just following that line, right? Just observe. See what people's haircut looks like. My hair grows up here. So I'm gonna take it down this way. Your hair may grow completely differently than mine. You know, curly hair or whatever. So you're gonna have to kind of play around with what you have. You have to know your limitations too. I mean, I obviously can't have a haircut, but maybe you could. So good for you. We all look different, right? All right, so I'm going down this way. Like I said, we'll come and clean up at the end. Get that left side. Make sure you're putting even pressure on here. You're just riding that guy coming. Okay, you're just riding it up. Keep it flat, and then whoosh, a little flourish up. All right, I'm pretty satisfied that I've got all that side hair. My haircut is more or less done on top. Sometimes I'll look and see, I mean, my hairline is ridiculous, but it's what I have. So I might come, especially if I cut it longer, I'll come through here and just do a little, I mean, you can line yours up. What am I gonna do, line it up to be straight up to here? That's, to me, that's ridiculous. You're just trying to fake. Do you have something you don't? All right, done. We'll come back around the ears and stuff in a little bit. So let's move on down the line here. I started off just exactly how you do it. Now, somebody had asked me this. What happens if I really mess up, okay? Because he saw me doing stuff like this, and he just said, oh man, how do you do that? You know, I, I totally mess it up. I just told him in the comments, if you're really worried about that, use a guide comb, okay? And just follow this along. And if it doesn't look perfect, oh well. Another thing you could do is just come and take this, here, let's just try it. Just come and take this straight down. There, did that really hurt anything? No. You don't have to do this freehand. We'll do it again on this side too, just to show you. You know, it's not gonna mess you up. But I'd say, you know, conversely, you normally wanna go against the grain. Um, for that type of thing, I would go with the grain. All right. And I am gonna do freehand, but if, like I said, if you totally mess this up, uh, a beard is a beard. 
I don't care if you have it this short, all right? This is the number one. This is one eighth of an inch. It's a very short beard, but it's a beard. And you just, like I told the guy, just that's your thing. Play it off, all right? That's your, that's what you're going for, all right? Don't worry about it. It's your hair, you know, it's gonna look how it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this back. I like mine straight back. You can make different shapes, you know. Somebody's like, oh, you really squared it up. Yeah, I did. And I usually do. But you can make this different shapes. really feels good if you have this really long for a while to have it shorter. And for years it was much shorter. I mean, I had this, uh, I think, man, what would I go? Maybe a four, five, six, seven, eight. This kind of went up like that. You know, sometimes I'd have maybe a two, but it just really depends on how you want to look. Um, and you know, especially in the summer, if you're doing something where you need to wear a respirator, that type of thing, it's not going to seal really well. So you probably would want it very short. And I'll tell you what, it's so easy to do that. You just, you know, stick on the comb and just go against the grain and you're done really fast. But I just kind of like the look of this, the feel too. This stuff is really short. It just doesn't feel the same. And unlike that other video, I'm going to give a little bit of a curve to it. See? It's not totally straight. That's what I've been doing. Alright, so that's more or less the shape that I want for the bottom. Okay? It kind of naturally makes a fake neckline, I never ever want to take this down because I get bumps, right? I personally don't want to shave anything off of me because it just creates problems. I don't know, if, you, if you don't, you don't. Good for you. And I also don't want to do this every day. So I might kind of uh, dull up these edges a little bit. freehand you don't want to do like this okay you're gonna take off too much you just want to fluff a little bit and you're gonna follow it see this line you're gonna just follow it down that's a good blend right it blends well that way okay right, straight down And somebody had asked about this, all right, because I just kind of went straight on the sides and I'm like, hey, I'm done. Um, but he was talking about something in a, a phenomenon called double beard, he called it. I don't understand what he's saying. You take off of this and then this kind of grows out, right? And so, actually, since then, before the guy's comment, I think, I'm going to go in the front too, all right? So instead of going out, it's just going to just gonna naturally go down. Let me kind of explain this to you real quick. It's like you're sculpting, okay? You're sculpting the beard, the hair, you know, if you have more hair you can sculpt it. This is just shorn off, okay? But for a beard, you are, it's subtractive sculpting, okay? It's like this is clay, all right? You're not going to try to grow this really long in order for this to pull down. It's just going to look silly unless you like a really, really long beard. But then this is the clay and you're removing material, okay, from the hole. You don't have to do one of these numbers to try to make sure it's all one length or whatever. It might not actually be one length, okay, 
this might be a little bit longer than this or vice versa. It's just how it as a whole works together. Does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, then you can ask me about it. Look, see here's that whole mass. I'm gonna come down. All right, see how that worked out. Get rid of the double beard. I'm just, I'm just following the same line. Once again, you're scared of that. Stick a comb on there, appropriate length, and just follow it straight down. Your chin is the guide. It'd be easier if you don't have a steady hand. Or if you're just nervous. I mean, I was nervous as could be when I first did this stuff. See, right here. You can also hold it straight, but then be careful because you can just, just take it off. I'm going to kind of soften those edges a little. Use your mirror, check your size. Is it what you're going for? Well, that's more or less what I was going for. All right. Here's my little trick for this part. Going that way. Let's follow the line. Boom. Crisp, huh? See how much neater that is already? Let's go on the other side. Check it out. Good enough for me. Follow that line. Good deal. All right, so this one of us done. Might just come back a little bit, fluff a little, make sure everything is cool. Brush it out one more time. Yeah, I see some little ends. Going up here. Doesn't have to be completely perfect, okay? It's gonna grow out unless you're just totally on top of this stuff and do it every week. I don't understand that. And yeah, it's just going to grow out. Change a little as it grows out. Good enough. Now I'm going to
touch on something that I didn't mention. See how this goes? Your mustache hairs are going to cut, start to come out and just grow with the length. If you like that look, keep it, okay? But for me, sometimes I'll come in and I'll take some of this out. So I might kind of do one of these things. Pull out a little bit. Do something that might frustrate some of you guys. Everybody has an opinion on how you should look when you make a beard video. Check this. Because otherwise to me it just gets too long. Pulling that a little. You could use scissors too if you want to. I like the way that flows better myself. Here's something that drives me nuts. See that? Stuff gets in my mouth. And if you're married, your wife might tell you that it uh, gets in hers too. You'll figure that out when you get married. So, what I'll do, another thing that you may not expect, is I'll take a comb, God comb, this is number four, half inch. I'm going to take that down. I don't like it getting in my mouth or anybody else's. So, here's a line, okay? And it's really not going to make a big difference if, you, if you're off a little bit. It's all going to blend in. See that? Lightens it up, you can see from the side. Keeps it out of your mouth. You can do that with the mustache too. This is the line you're following, okay? There you have it. You may say it looked better before. Well, okay. It's your opinion. Now kind of follow these guidelines and you can change it up however you want. This is a little bit different than how I did it in that other video. I'll put links in the description below to those two. Now, I also have been liking to just make a kind of fake cheek line. You can make a complete cheek line. You see where this, see where this is lighter? You can just take that, shave it off. See that? Shave it off, and it'd be pretty crisp. But, like I said, I don't like to shave things all the way down. So, let's try two, all right? Two, two. A little bit of a fake cheek line. And you see how that look? If you had totally shaved, I did do that one time. I just I don't do that stuff anymore. Get some of this hair out of my face. Alright. Let's do some of the cleanup stuff, alright? We got this, we got this, we got this, and this. Let's do some cleanup. And some people like to leave their mustache to just grow and turn into some handlebar thing or whatever. 
it gets in my mouth, it drives me nuts. Usually I'll take a scissors, okay? And just follow this lip line. But for the fact that I don't have the scissors right now, I'll just use this. Follow that line. Might touch it up with the scissors, but get the idea right. And food doesn't get all over and stuff, which drives me nuts. Some people can, you know, they don't mind it, but I do. And this is something I started doing a while back, especially when you get older. Your eyebrows start going berserk. Okay, they just grow and grow and grow, and then you can be like some old man with these really curly things. I don't like to look like that. There's a little lever on here, right? It's a little adjustment lever. You put it long. You see that? Okay, so I will put a long. I'll do number three, three eighths. So number three, long. And you just better check that a couple times. Because you don't want to butcher this. All right, straight over, comb it, because you're going to have a go against it. Got to right in between one of these. You're not going to hear much. There aren't that many hairs there. Go over one more time. is under the work. Of course it worked. I've done this a number of times. All right. If you want to, you could touch it up with some scissors or whatever. But that's going to keep the runaway eyebrows from going too far. All right. You got the cleanup stuff here. If you have it like a number one, probably won't have to deal with this. So we're going to adjust it back. Clean up like for this, you just go straight up, come over, Very sensitive part. Be careful. I cut my brothers one time and I felt really bad. So be careful. Take your time. No rush. Alright, that's good. Also, if you have some hair on your ears that's growing, there's a time you can go ahead and cut that off too. I'm not gonna bore you with that. And Last thing to do, make sure I cover all my bases. Yep, ding, 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 ding. You want to establish that neckline. There are different schools of thought in regards to the neckline. Some people go straight across, some people fade it up, you know, with a, a shorter comb, maybe number one. Um, some people round it off. Just make sure you're really paying attention to what you're doing, okay? 
you're going to want to go ahead and make sure it's level. And if you can't do this, ask for help. There, there is never any, uh, it's not like some, you know, you get an award if you do this all yourself. Ask for help if you need it. But it's obviously a lot uh, easier if you can do it yourself. You don't have to ask anybody. So here we go. Kind of where it really grows in. Just going straight down. Your line straight. All right, that is one hundred percent what I do to cut my hair. Let me tell you the benefit of this. You don't make an appointment for a haircut. You don't have to make chit chat with some stranger or feel obligated to give them tips and stuff like that. You can talk to whoever you want to on your own time. And you get to make the stuff, I mean, you're the one to blame for this, okay, whether it's good or bad. So because of that, you're gonna work to make it what you want it to be right? And a big thing is savings, okay? I bought those clippers, I think, like I said, in probably 2002, cheap, probably 20 bucks or something, and uh, yeah, they've lasted this many years, right? And I don't foresee needing to buy any new ones for a long time. I was just near uh, North Carolina, I was in North Carolina, it was this uh, beard friendly place and I can't remember the prices, maybe I'll look it up, but a whole entire haircut, you know, because they charge separate for your head and your beard. I'm like, really? And it made sense to my father-in-law, but for me, I'm just like, it's, man, this is hair. Like, I don't have much up here, so can't you just, you know? Anyway, the point is, is that you could save anywhere up to, you know, 80 bucks. I don't know, depending on how much they want to take you for a ride. So let's just say, you know, on the cheap end, you could save anywhere from, you know, 20 all the way up to however much you want to pay. And you can learn to do this. You know how to comb your hair. You know what your hair looks like when they get done. And I mean, if you're really slick about it, you could have somebody record them cutting your hair and then you could try to copy it. What's wrong with that? All they could say is just stop. So anyway, I hope you learned from this. This is like exactly what I do. And I took it at the pace that I do it, so you're not like, oh no, it's too fast. And if you have the patience to watch this, great, you know. I wanted you to be able to see the real deal, every step, for the entire part. And you just, uh, you know, tailor it to fit your own self, the way you want to look. And uh, that's the most important thing, look the way you want to. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, good for you. You have some patience, and I hope it works for you. If it does, let me know, you know. I, I really like to read comments and answer anybody's questions. So if you have them, let me know. I'll see you in another video. Bye.